the tent. It's a beautiful sunny day. The weather is also very pleasant and the tulips are out along with the hyacinths. And I want to show you the little roses that I planted last fall are now growing. Very tiny, but it's growing. There's three of them in this area. Bye, car! <laughs> and there's a plot of tulips right here. They're gearing up to bloom in some alliums right there and more roses right here. So they don't look like much at this moment but pretty soon this would grow and we'll fill up this space right here. The roses are doing very well. I will have to prune this once. I didn't do them last fall so we'll do them soon. And over to this side is walkway that I did last year. And voila! These are tulips that I planted. Um, Two years ago I think they are looking beautiful and they also propagated because I counted these yellow ones and I have 12 flowers now I think I only had six to begin with so they did very well and these red tulips beautiful and they are huge this one's almost as big as my hand so it's been doing well these tulips right here and over to this side i have successfully moved hosta the hosta is gone Hosta is gone. Another hosta is gone. So there's a nice space there now between the peony. The peony will be growing up to like halfway point because it's very bushy. So even if it does that, there's still quite an ample space here between the peony and the rose. This rose hopefully would not have fungus this year because I am giving it a lot of room now. There's one more project to do is this sedum here will grow about a feet a foot more and it's gonna be very big and bushy as well. So, I'm going to take that out and maybe divide it. The hosta from this side is also gone. So, there's a lot of room in this bed now. And hosta from here is also gone. So, in total, I removed five big hostas from this side and another one from that side six hostas I removed that's a lot <laughs> and I transferred them in the backyard so that was my accomplishment for today actually I've done it for the past four days yep it took me four days to do all the hostas and to replant them it's very pleasant outside. I'm not wearing a jacket anymore. And you could also hear the birds singing. People are also out and about. There's been cars going on in the neighborhood. It's 
has been very busy activity and the grass is also growing taller now they need to be mowed very soon and this is it for my little garden so it's actually not much of a garden it's a very small area of the front yard you could barely see it when you stand away from the house but it requires a lot of work <laughs> and but the work is very rewarding look at that I say that is a very very worth it reward for hard work in the garden and I didn't even really work hard on this one I just dug a little hole and I planted them last fall and they grow on their own now it is springtime and they smell so so good and the plucks right here are about to bloom let's see closer 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 there's a lot of tiny little blooms starting out now tiny little buds I mean and they are going to grow into blooms so far the garden is doing well and the only tragedies <laughs> I've seen so far is I have three blueberries on the side and it seems that they didn't do very well so this blueberry along with that blueberry is kaput this one right here is still green so there may be a chance that this one would make it but not sure nevertheless this rose right here is doing so good so this rose would need a lot of space to grow anyway so the blueberries on the side wouldn't make sense and if they were growing they will have to be transferred to a different site anyway so i guess all is well that ends well I have some echinacea right here and last year I planted a lot of petunias on this side so this year I'm going to do just that again plant more petunias this is another rose right here um, it won't focus but yeah that's a rose so on this bed I have three roses this one is called Rosa Rosa, aka the Rose Hip Rose. So I went a little crazy last year with the roses. I planted, I think, 11 bushes of roses last year. So it was the start of the pandemic, and we were locked down, we were quarantined we didn't have work and we couldn't go out or travel anywhere in other words there was time on our hands as well as um i guess there was no job so it was quite easy to spend time in the garden and i made a wish come true that is to plant a lot of roses one thing that i missed with this one is if it's not pruned it will grow up to um, six feet spread so that's quite wide and it also goes up to even five feet tall so i'll just have to make sure to um, prune it i guess otherwise it has to be moved I don't have a lot of experience of moving roses I figured that would be a little tricky to do so maybe we'll just prune it and leave it here 
Anyway, there's a lot of room for it to grow. And there's my husband right here. He wants to enjoy the sunshine as well. And that's it for the garden for now anyways. Thank you very much for spending time with me. Be careful. Very, ah, I didn't want you to damage the rose. I didn't. Well, really? you took some of the oh. baby branches out. Just this one? Yeah. My apologies. Apology accepted. Thank you for your help.